so fucking goofy by the way before oh geez well if it isn't a little baby mama snail with a tier one for five months and the one bitty thanks brother bear uh real quick before any of that do y'all understand that turts has just been hanging out in here since 1209 for about an hour turts just been hanging out Creepy said, you here early again? And he said, yeah, I'll just be lurking. Anyways, what's up, Turks? What's up, Creepy? Harry Potter? What's up, Jeffrey? I added you in chat earlier, Turks, and nothing. Yeah, they're yeah, they gonna make food. Spicy ramen sounds good. What's up, Laughing Corner? Dude, dude what's up, Larry? Jeffrey, Laughing Corner, Snail. All right, all right. Hey, I didn't mean to call you. I appreciate that, Laughing Corner. Uh, Hold up. Hold up. Click that up two little notches right there. Throw a little bit more light on the situation. Oof. Where is my... I had a little... No. Oof. See, I had a little something, something like that going on the other day. But I wasn't vibing with it too much. stick with that i think i need like an extra light or something i don't know something about it. something about it ain't ain't what it's supposed to be doing you know what i'm saying is it on the full face of that camera no well anyways beard groom nah just a little haircut not too much of a of a groomy groom don't it look good i creepy don't it look good so that beard Got product in my boy. Ah. Nah, you know, it's just a little, it got a little trim, a little bit on the side, and it's a little bit of a, a little bit of, I just brushed it, honestly. A man's using the ivory handle fine tooth on that beard, my guy. What's up, baby? Oh, man. You know, you know, every day, I feel like I lose a little bit of my sanity. Every fucking day. Anyways, detail like a mug. Thanks, baby. So, hey, listen, I don't know when, but probably in like, I say half an hour or so, we got. We got a little bit of a. We got some Pokemon, brother. Look, we got the little Elite. Elite trainer box. That. Honestly, I thought I was supposed to get a long time ago. I thought I was supposed to get this last month, but this actually didn't start shipping until recently. So we got 12 packs. We got one full art foil in here. I'll read the rest again later, but we just got we got 12 packs in this thing. 12 packs. Not a lot. Normally we get the third. They didn't they weren't doing the 36 packs, in case you're wondering. That wasn't an option for this set. I was gonna take a break from the cards, but here I am. You know what's bullshit? I didn't put it up, didn't I? They gave me this little thing uh, for one of the other things I bought. I bought a pin, and they gave me some Pokemon Go unlocks with it. But, like, if you have Apple, like, Android, you can put a code in directly for Pokemon Go on the device. You can't do that for iOS. I don't know why. Plastic opening ASMR? I'll see what I can do. So, yeah. Whatever you're into, you little dirties. Beard on point, forehead on forehead, on forehead on forehead. Oof. Anyways, so uh, yeah, man. Hey, we got we got we got some stuff going on, brother. I don't think I have my alert box on this snail, but feel free to have at it. There you go. There it is, hippie. God, your name's big. So um. What we got today's Wednesday. Nothing tomorrow night, right? Kind of, kind of, uh, kind of a short week. Company coming in for a little bit. 
And then we're going to be out of town this weekend. I think I have the, the September gauntlet planned out. I think we probably will do. Fall guys. Damn, bro. Where did I put that? Hold on. It should be on my organizer. Smash Bros, Marbles, Fall Guys, Mario Party, I think. We'll see what happens. I give you a bitty for making you read that. Thank you. I did send you. I saw your little doodle. It was cute. I liked it. Hope you're doing good, Harry Potter. Harry Potter's pointing out how fed up I was with the 100. You know, it'd be like that sometimes. Why'd it do that? That's very weird. Okay. Something special below. Looks so cool. Yep. Uh, man, what the fuck was I about to say? Hey, ain't nothing going on exciting, man. Just another day. No streams this weekend? If so, that's perfect. I'll be deep in the woods with no sir. Yeah, no streams this weekend. I'll be gone. I'll be in a different state. Um, clean my room in past the past few days. I feel like I'm in a better headspace now. Same. I actually cleaned a bunch. Still got the same fucking stack of books behind me, but I did I did clean a bunch. I'm camping? Nah, bro. It's okay if you're just whatever you're doing. I support you. <sighs> I'm camping a little bit. Have fun with that. Um how unperfect for me. Crippy, write a book or something. I don't know. Draw a picture. We got. Hmm. My job. Yeah. My job. Ooh, brother. I've been trying to come up with some some ideas, man, to get some little things booming, but I think my tank's on empty. I got a vacation coming up next month. So I gotta get enough stuff recorded to keep you heathen satiated. So I can go hit the reset button on my old creative noggin. What's up, Mariachi? I really want to play Pokemon Shield, but I also really want to finish. The Walking Dead. So I think next week, on my calendar at least, I have Walking Dead for the next week for, for two or three streams at least. Yeah, creepy to write a book. The fuck? No thanks? Write a book about me and Jerry. You know? <laughs> Walking Dead after PAX opening? Probably not. Probably... I'm going to go record after I open the packs. Yeah, I've watched... I've watched a bunch. A bunch. I've watched that so many times, Harry Potter. So many times. Faith, what it do? I didn't say a goddamn fanfic. I said make it a journey about me and... About me and Jerry. Out in the woods. Killing bad guys. Yeah, I think I think the goal right now is to probably finish The Walking Dead, like outright, and then Pokemon, and then God of War before the next one comes out. I think I think that's my overall schedule. We open up on the woods. Jerry finishes popping a tent. Jer Bear had popped a tent of his own. That's fucking gross, Snail. I can add you to my book that I'm doing. Do it. Do it. Also, uh, the Kenobi finale seems to be. I may be able to finally get that uploaded properly. Miss Marvel, I got two episodes left. Uh, what else is going on in the world over here? Just know I've been busy. Hey, Potter, you make me whatever you want to make me. I could be the hero. Or God damn it, I could be the villain if need be. You know what I'm saying? The urge to time out Sneal every stream. I feel it. Sometimes you just gotta fuck. Fagonk him. Right on the head. Big, big bonk. Big bonk. I think I'm to the point. I just want everybody to know this. I don't want. I just don't think I want to work anymore. I just don't think I want to, I want to work. Like.
What, what am I gaining from working? A little bit of money. The only thing I'm gaining is fucking benefits. I got good health insurance. Go Twitch and YouTube full time? I could, but I don't make enough. <laughs> I did, but now I don't. <laughs> So I gotta I gotta be prepared for those fluctuations. Over it, I feel it. The burnout is real. You for sure need to break sometimes, bro. I swear. I don't know if it's burnout rather than just so many changes happening that don't make any sense. So some jobs don't have any, it's true. Can you pay your own and be happy with it? What the health insurance i mean i can my health insurance i pay through my job is is cheap is super cheap and they cover mainly the rest i believe it's how it works i just you know if i had to pay for my own insurance it'd be a lot more money i blame the hunter for the dip oh 100 yeah it's uh, i blame the hunter too but it's okay i like the show that's all i care about man i if i if i enjoy it I'm, i don't really care about the money and shit but it does still hit a little weird watching shit drop. Who needs money, honestly? I swear. We're all baby boys and the big boys get to make the clubhouse rules and we just get to play in their fort sometimes. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Ugh, man. I'll be fed up on a daily basis yeah I don't, i'm not really worried about the money i make from it but watching a dip is kind of it's kind of weird it's the first time there's been a dip so i'm just like uh what but then again it also is in a season that 90 percent of people hate also don't stress everything is pretend yeah, but until you have a fucking uh, disease, you go to the hospital and you don't have insurance, you know? Or you can't pay your bills. <laughs> it's not that pretend at that point, even though we did make up money in the first place. So it is one bit giant game of pretend, but still. You know what's crazy? I sent this Snapchat to a couple people. I don't mean to go out into space real quick, but... Uh, you know there's just no direction in space, right? There's no north, south, east, and west. You know that, right? So... Somebody asked the question. I'm going to paraphrase this, this TikTok. Somebody asked the question of how do we know they keep saying that they took a picture that's directed at the start of time, right? And like, how do they know that that's the direction? And that's because no matter which way you go out into space, no matter which way you go, if you keep going straight, it'll lead you to the, to the initial beginning of space. So like if you took a spaceship and went that way you'd reach the beginning if you went that way you'd reach the beginning if you went that way that's how big space is there's no direction try to wrap your mind around that for a second you know all right. If cry I was real, I'd put myself to sleep and wake up and have the proper space travel. Hey, you know, they talked about those pictures, you know, and they're like, those pictures right there are millions, whatever, billions of light, whatever the fuck the number was of light years away. But like, we're not just so everybody knows if you're not already like, you know, that what we're looking at in those photos that the new telescope took, those aren't what they look like right now. That's how those galaxies looked millions of years ago. We were looking into the past. So like those images that we're getting are millions of years old, technically. Most of those galaxies and stuff is probably not even there anymore. It's probably destroyed, ran into each other. There could be life out there, but we don't know the way life travels. Light, not life, but still. Doesn't everything move away from one point? Like if you're if you smashed 
a big melon, all the bits would travel away from the focal point. Yeah. Make your brain stutter? I swear. The, uh, the pictures are so good. I have one brain cell left now. Thanks, bro. I'm so sorry, Larry. I'm so sorry. But, like, I watched this TikTok, and the whole time I was just like... <laughs> I try not to think about space. Listen, I'll be honest with you guys, because we're all people, okay? We're all humans. Except for Snail. He's a snail. But, like, uh, two months back or whatever, I was laying in my bed, and I started having these, like, space thoughts. I literally... This happens to me, like, once every few years, where I, I think too much, and your brain literally goes, STOP! Your brain literally yells, stop. I had to, I literally was screaming into my pillow. I had a full blown existential crisis. So yeah, that's always fun. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, bro? We do talk about space often, but yeah. I don't know what I was going to talk about before that. So I just know I went on to space for a second. I think my big thing is, is like when my job, for example, gets really bent out of shape over some really petty shit. Like, I just stop and think. Like, we are a single grain of sand in this universe. Jer <laughs> Jero, good. No. 100% there's, there's other life. Golden planets like Earth and humans are made of, like, the most abundant chemicals and stuff. I agree with that. I believe that there's there's life everywhere. And if there is life out where we took that picture, just they just haven't reached us yet. And I hope, genuinely, as terrifying as it is, at some point in my lifetime, that we make contact with something else. I genuinely hope, as terrifying as that is, I would love to experience that. Do you know why? Because most people aren't going to take it seriously. Most people are going to fucking just not believe it. And there'll be deniers. And it'll be great. I think it'll be fucking dope. But can it do DMT? <laughs> that helps when remembering you work in customer support. I literally, when I was working at GameStop, I literally told a customer once, I was just yelling. And I was like, you realize that we're on a rock floating through space. And you're in here yelling about fucking 35 cents. breathe go fucking get one out you know like everything will be okay I hope they're looking at earth like oh dang that's some big lizards what's up Michaela by the way yeah I um I just think they've saw like they've they've laid eyes on us and I've just been like no but on the flip side, as scary as it would be to get contact from somewhere else, it would be equally as cool. The scary thing is, is if there is no contact and we're, we're it. And look at what a fucking stand-up job we're doing. They could have already contacted us. I, I doubt it, though. Like, there could be some shit wrapped under. Who knows? I, I don't have conspiracy stuff, but... There are a lot of unexplained things. I still don't. The pyramids are still a wild thing. Like, so wild. Yeah, but that's the thing, too. If they are so long ago, if they're looking at us now, they're just seeing dinosaurs, right? They're not seeing us as people. But I would like to think, like, they got some they got some technology, you know? It's crazy, bro. Here was the big thing. I want your all's opinions on this, because I was watching a video. I've been keeping up with this for, what has it been, six months? And then I watched a video recently, and I, I just want to know where you all stand. And I, I'm not going to give my opinion on it until after. I don't want to sway your bias. If there's something out there, they're probably disappointed in us. I mean, I'm disappointed in us. Yeah, ancient civilizations, they, they knew what they were doing. But here's the question. So here's what I was watching before I went live. I was going to go live at 1230, but I started watching this a little bit. So... This first word I'm going to say, you're going to be like, oh, here he goes. But as I'm on to something. Teabagging. In video games. I don't know if you all read the tweet a while back that said, teabagging in video games was the same 
as sexual assault. What's up, DZ? Desi, how's it going, my friend? Hope you're doing good. Staying hydrated. Welcome in, my friend. Somebody said that teabagging in video games was equivalent to sexual assault. Teabagging in video games mariachi is walking up to another player and pressing your crouch button. And then you walk away. I did I did see the the UFC teabagging thing. That's fucked. But How are you? I'm doing well just hanging out for a little bit. I'm going to open some Pokémon cards in a minute. But um Agreed. So yeah, I watched the whole thing on this. Some some players, the big thing, I was watching Moist Critical's video, and some players got banned. One guy, one guy's team got banned. He teabagged his own teammate and they got banned. And another person teabagged somebody else and they put their full names and like doxed them. I can play the video. It's not that long. It's basically so back in the day, especially like Halo, like if you killed somebody, you'd walk up and crouch on them and then you'd keep walking. Somebody someday tell you that you speak really fast all the time. I don't know, to be honest. Or like beat like beat a body. So sometimes like if you kill somebody, you'd walk up, punch them. Uh, I mean, I can show you real quick what it is. Mariachi. Is this plugged in? I do not use mouse and keyboard. Never actually done another player. It's just a psychological attack aspect of gaming uh, to get in your opponent's head, basically. It was one of those things back in the day, like if you got teabagged or somebody hit your body, like you would... You would go from sitting like this to like sitting like this. It was like, all right, let's go. And they're comparing teabagging to sexual assault. And I agree with the people on the post who have actually been sexually assaulted. That for somebody to compare an action in a video game to a real life sexual assault is completely undermining real sexual assault. I'm gonna go, let me see if I can go to the academy. Training mode, I don't care what map it is. All right. Oops, this, key, this mouse is on. Turn that off for a second. I mean, in my opinion, it's just a game, but like you never want to, yeah, you never want to validate somebody's feelings, but I feel like sexual assault's a leap. It can be triggering for someone who's been sexually assaulted, sure. Squat, stand, squat, equal friendly. Sometimes I walk into people in the lobby and do it in front. Yeah, so like the whole like crouching in front of somebody, that's technically teabagging is what that is. It's the whole, any movement of crouching. A lot of times you can get people's attention by crouching. And uh, people are saying even that is sexual assault. Like even the squatting motion in a video game. Like if you're doing it other than to squat and move around. So I'll, I'll show you guys. Now I don't do mouse and keyboard, so pardon anything that looks ugly. And I have a giant camera, not a giant camera, but I have my webcam is right here, so I can't see fuck all. Not, of course it's not actual assault, but it, it could be a psychological thing, but. Training mode. All right, I don't know if I got to spawn people in or not. But, uh, so, Overshield, like, inbound. what's the, Overshield, so this right man. here, control, this is, right, it's this. I'm plugging in this fucking controller, because I, I can't do this. I'll plug it back in in a minute. I'll probably have to readjust something. So, like, this is, right, so if you're playing a game, yada, yada, like you can get your teammates attention. You can stand like, Hey, over here, like you don't got a mic in, but like 
this person right here, this bot. So like if I killed them and then walked up and then bagged, people are saying that's sexual assault. Now, oh shit, I forgot I had that. So back in the day, back in the day, like if we were playing and you know, somebody was talking shit. This was just like, you'd walk up, you'd bag. Right, and then bop, 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 bop. Crouch on him a little bit. So that was, that. that's. You know, you kill him. Hit a little back smack, a little bag action, and then, yeah, that's all she wrote. So like anything about that. I have done this in every video game I've ever played since I was a kid. Not to everybody, but when you have that one person that's talking shit and they just, they won't stop. Lay into him a little bit, give him a little bop, 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 get fucked, and then keep it moving. So, it sounds more like a disciplinary action. Solid meme does Splitgate have a mod where teabagging is now how you get points? That'd be lit. On Minecraft, my friend and I are in voice chat. Yeah, you crouch to say stuff. Music, it's perfect. If somebody did to me, I wouldn't like it because I'm not toxic. It does sound so much that makes it sound so much worse uh yeah like i don't know i don't know let me click on this what's up baddie by the way make sure this closes properly let me get this webcam plugged back in and we can watch this video together then i'll open these cards See if aim oh shit that thing just fell off didn't it it's basically walking up to somebody and with some little shit bird fucking give him the back smack i don't know close the game out how many times what fucking button i gotta press for this there we go uh did i actually close this out all the way i think i might have I mean, for, it's a toxic player move. 100% it's toxic as fuck. Banned for life over a teabag? Oh, no. Oh. He's good. He knows every aspect of this game. But my grandpa put all his gaming knowledge, his whole... I already know it's going to be something stupid. Hold on. He's good. He knows every aspect of this game. But my grandpa put all his gaming knowledge, his whole heart, into assembling this deck. I have to believe that it holds some secret strategy. This card is useless. So stupid. So dumb. Let me go to let me let me pull this video. Let me see how long this is. If it's too long, we're not gonna watch it. Loki wanna play Halo? It's pretty lit. Keep it pretty not toxic for real. Yeah, like I I'm probably the most least toxic player around, but dog, if somebody when you get to that moment. Sometimes you gotta drop an elbow on them. Alright. We'll watch a little bit of this. I'm a pretty boy. In two weeks, there has been Hold on. Let me mute the music. the fuck is it coming from? Why do I have so many tabs open? All right, there we go. Yeah, it can't be too toxic in Rocket League. Like dancing on people too. People say the same thing about the dancing, like doing the little L dance. They're like, 
Like, that's assault. I'm like, is, is it? Yeah, you can play it on PC. Free to play. Two major cases where video game taunting has become a massive, massive issue online. Last time it was in an Apex tournament where one player... I did see some GTA 6 news, yeah. The entire team got banned from all future tournaments that were hosted by that org. And before that, it was a player on Twitter making a giant thread about how teabagging in Valorant is traumatizing and is the same thing as real-world sexual assault. Even just mentioning that Twitter thread is painful like gargling glass. Comparing video game teabagging to sexual assault just reflexively makes the human body want to vomit. It's so fucking gross. But the point is, over the last couple of weeks, teabagging in video games has become like the ultimate I have seen bits and pieces about that the like Dragon Ball thing here if you don't know and I already know you all do but I just want to explain it a bit further teabagging in games is when you go over someone's body and you crouch up and down a few times that's it that's all that's what's starting all of this that's fair sass and today we reach Valorant is super Valorant's super fucking toxic Weenie Hut Juniorville Two players were banned for talking about that Twitter thread about teabagging and sexual assault. They made posts saying that it's very silly and disrespectful to compare teabagging to sexual assault, which it objectively is. Anyone with half a brain would agree that it is outright disgusting to compare video game crouching to fucking sexual assault in the real world. I do agree with that point. I do agree that it can be triggering for people, but I do agree with his point. I agree it can be triggering as a psychoschematic thing, but... It is asinine, and it's just downright wrong. And today, two pro players were officially banned by Riot Games for their statement also, fuck on Riot. that subject. They made posts saying that it's wrong to compare crouching up and down in a video game... For doxing assault, these people. ...calling it silly, calling it stupid, and they received competitive bans from Riot Games. And not only that... They got doxxed lips peeling. by Riot. Doxed. Their full names in the headline of their bands. And their names, they didn't have public. They didn't want their full names out there. Instead of just giving their gamer tags or their, like, uh, their handles online, they gave their full fucking names. Just a huge, stinky, full names. blunder from Riot here. Uh, I think it's been, what, like two weeks? I made a video called Horrible Tweet I Can't Stop Thinking About. And it was all about that huge Twitter debate. Wrong word for it. That huge Twitter clownery where someone made a giant thread all about how teabagging in video games is sexual assault. I'm sure you all remember that, right? A Twitter user made a giant case for why teabagging in Valorant is the same thing as real world sexual assault and it's traumatizing. Uh, this and that. Very silly stuff. Very goofy. Uh, that was top tier chef kisses goofiness. And today, as of seven hours ago, it turns out. The account that posted that initially was affiliated with a professional Valorant team, as I understand it. And two my lips are peeling. So gross. Clowned on it on Twitter, who were professional professional Valorant pros, got banned for it. So I'm doing more than Riot did. They straight up doxed them. So the they put their real name out there. Obviously joked about that horrible take on teabagging being sexual assault. They got competitively banned. And then Riot doxed them. They said, like, in order to protect the identity of the person who started the tweet, we've kept their identity to person A. And then in the next sentence says, but these two pros, and gives their full name, both of their names, not like their gamer, ta gamer tags or anything, just their full name. Bro, you know how fucking said, these pissed off I'd be? For vulgar language against this user. We will not accept it. You know how pissed off I would be if somebody just put the full shit out there? Like it's nothing. Like it's nothing but protected the person with the original thread. Mm. I don't know what else goes on with this. Uh, can they not sue? Oh, I would I would 100% sue if I was them. You put my whole information out there. I'm not going to watch the rest of it. It's 15 more minutes of that. Uh, but they put their full... For just talking about the thread. No harassment towards the person. No clowning, no roasting, just simply talking about the thread, and they outright banned him. And then the dude that teabagged his own teammate, which is something that the team does in general with one another, they banned them from all future tournaments. What?
Oh. Oh. It wasn't even the opposing team. Honestly, the internet should be would be better if people stop being toxic in video games in general. So you're saying it was a consensual teabag, basically. Uh, yeah, I would agree, but there's we're at a level now, and especially with a lot of a lot of younger kids, a lot of younger peeps. Uh, the internet is way more toxic. Any thread you go into is just stupid toxic. Like people talking about the uh, the new Avenger stuff is incredibly toxic. There is very little 100% wholesome environments left uh, on the internet. There's always somebody that just wants to be a troll or think that they're, uh, them going against the grain is something that's intellectually funny, and it's it's not. It's never it's never funny or entertaining. They just want to get that, that shock factor out of people. But a lot of goofy shit nowadays. A lot of goofiness. A lot of goofiness. I'm going to unplug this, and we're getting ready to open up some Pokemon cards. That's going to be our transition. Teabagging to Pokemon cards. Yeah, Rust is hella toxic. League of Legends is hella toxic. Um, Overwatch is... I think every game is, is mainly toxic now, to be honest. They all have their own little toxic pocket, but... It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Goofy shit. All right, can I turn the second camera on? Oh, I got to reactivate it. Look, my hands are up here. You hate the word toxic? Why? There we go. I got a light adjust. Hey, don't be toxic, Mariachi. All right. Hey, let me take this fucking headset off. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. What a life we live. So we have right here, Pokemon TCG, baby. This is the Pokemon trading card game, Pokemon Go Elite Trainer Box. There's 12 packs in this bitch. You wanna know what else is in it? Here's what we got. I'm gonna run through the stuff on the back. Uh, oh my God. There's a toxic pocket actually. I, you run into more toxic. I think it's more common than the wholesome players. So we got 12 packs of Pokemon Go booster packs. We have one full art promo card featuring Mewtwo V. We have 65 card sleeves featuring Mewtwo. One deck box featuring Mewtwo. 45 Pokemon TCG energy cards. A player guide to the Pokemon Go expansion. Six metal damage counter dice. One metal coin. Two metal condition markers. One acrylic V-Star marker. A collector's box to hold everything with four dividers to keep it organized. And a code for the Pokemon trading card game live. Paladins is wholesome players. I think once you get into the competitive market of games, it just becomes toxic. Let's be real. Like, uh, I don't know about Paladins, but like Overwatch, for example, kind of the, those lower ranks is a little more wholesome. Then the higher up you go, it's more toxic. All right, let's check this baby out. Kind of got this like right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna scoot over just a pinch. We're gonna take this thing off. Ooh. Nothing on the inside, kind of lame. Whack. All right. Ooh, what's on the back here? Wow. We have a Pokemon trading guide. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, I got some Pokemon Go cards. I don't know how to fucking redeem. Makes me so mad. Literally almost impossible to redeem. The top reveal. Wow, what is all this stuff? Wow, we got a deck box. Ooh. Ah! Ah! 
Plus, I think the older you get, the less toxic in video games that you personally are. Because um, I know back when I played, man, we were... It was pretty bad. But... I'm just too old to be toxic. Like, I just don't give a shit. Oh, man, that's actually kind of broke. Damn, look at this. Hold on. Look, see it? It's a little broke. But they give you... They try to give me a little deck box to put stuff in. Kind of sweet, kind of wholesome, but it's broke. <sighs> Can't have nothing in this life. Now, we got our 12 packs. Take them bitches out. Got my code you cannot have because I redeem all of them. You ready? Let's see it. Ooh, baby, that's nice right there. That's a whole Mewtwo V. Very nice, very shiny. I gotta move this over here, but I don't know why I got that over there. There we go. Very nice, very shiny. I don't know why my fucking Xbox is on. There we go, we'll turn that off. What else we got in here? We got, ooh, some very nice, unique dividers. Keep your shit divided. Got some sleeves. Yeah, yeah. Got some energy cards. Yeah, y'all know what energy cards are. What are you unboxing, son? These nuts. Got that right there. Ooh, man, these status counters are very, very nice. These are very, these have some weight to them. We were just talking about teabagging and gaming, Naz. Oh, look, little status conditions. Here's poisoned. I actually forget what this one means, but. Nothing. All right, touche, well played. Ooh, we got some metal dice. Yeah, yeah, a little hit point dice. Very loud. And then we got our metal coin. Ooh, this is nice. So every one of these comes with a Pokemon coin, right? Let's see if I can get that to focus a little bit more. You can kind of see it's Mewtwo. It doesn't want to focus on the coin, I guess because it's shiny. I wonder if I do... People want to go the opposite way. Anyways, you can see it's Mewtwo. There's the backside of it. Pretty nice, pretty neat. <laughs> I know Mewtwo I ever seen. Got them bitty little ditto eyes. Who was it that said they ate those coins? Probably fucking Corey. All right. We got 12 packs of Pokemon Go TCG cards. This is all we're doing for the stream is we're opening up these bad boy mother lover mother brothers. You ready? Give me a number one through 12 if you get it right. If we get an absolute banger on your pack. V star up, not V's. I'm talking full art V star cards. If we get a V card. Like, that, well, alternate arts count. Alternate arts for sure count. But like a normal V, no. V-Star, no. V-Star, yes. Alternate art, depending on what it is. I'll give you a free sub if you fucking wambo-cambo it. 12 packs. I'm not altering this stack right here at all. That stack stays where it is, baby. Ooh, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. Wow, Faith said two and not seven. Pain without love. All right. You guys ready? I've only seen two cards I want. Is There's a Charizard, and I really... Somebody already has six, Michaela. Uh, is Charizard, and I really want the Times Square Mewtwo. 
really want the Times Square Mewtwo. No, don't ask. You cannot have the digital cards. I open every single one of them. So no. One, two, three, four to the front. First pack of 12. Are you ready? Dark energy. That's a good sign. That's a great sign, actually. Kicking things off here, my man Spark. I don't feel like that's... Is that... Yeah. Spooderman. Steelix. I'm so mad I missed that on Steelix. Look at Bulbasaur, bro. He's so happy. He's out here vibing. Numel. Uh-oh. A little Alo Raticate. A little a tran Tranquility. Larvitar with a Raspberry. Reverse Hollow. This is the fire team leader. I don't know how to say it. Candle. I don't know how to say her name. And... Pack number one, baby. We got ourselves a little bit of a Tyranitar. Earthquake hitting for 180. Does 120 to each of your bench Pokemon. That's a sick-ass card, dude. Tyranitar is one of the bigger cards, or one of the bigger Pokemon in Pokemon Go. I'd be vibing with him, to be frank. I like that a lot. Pack two. One. Two, three, four, front. A little bit of leaf energy, baby. Same lady, just not reversed. Jarmillion! No, War Turtle. Mewtwo, Tentacruel, Aerodactyl. Look at that Pikachu, bro. Look at him walking next to a trainer. Whose trainer is that? I don't wear those shoes, so it's not me. Look at Squirtle. He's a little bald headed baby. Spin a rack. Wimpod, I had to get 400 of them bitches. Larvitar yet again. Reverse hollow, imp imp bop bomb And, woo, baby, a Mewtwo V-Star. Not the one that I wanted, but it's a Mewtwo V-Star nonetheless. Look at that thing throwing a motherfucking hot dookin'. Look at that, bro. Wow. Wow. Psy Surge, Star Raid. Does 120 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon Vs. Damn, son. Damn, son. Absolute fire. What's up, Toby? You be knowing. Faith be knowing. All right. I'm going to soft sleeve them for now. And I'll go back and put them in their hard sleeves. What a pack. 20 bennies. <laughs> Pack three. That is a W for Faith. Yeah, absolutely. Where the ditto's at. Hey, bro. Shh. Keeping that a secret for a minute. One, two, three, four. Pack number three. Pupitar. Chancy sleeping with our little egg. Little egg mama. Spark. Fucking team instinct. Little yellow buddy. Beedoof. Magikarp. Apple. Ap ap Melton. I like Melton actually. Look at bald headed baby boy Squirtle. What we got right here. Reverse hollow sleeping numal. And big card in the back. It's a holographic holding down the gym Blissey. Look at Blissey. She's in the gym for the red team holding it down. Who's going to get her? No one. Heal all damage from one of your bench Pokemon for one energy? Oh my lord. No, that's OP as fuck. Numble did look a little sus. Hey, Toby, do me a favor, dude, right now, all right? Because I love you, you know? Go ahead and get on your Pokemon Go app. Send me a little gifty gift because I'm trying to get some Growlithe. I need these Growlithe eggs, all right? Hook your boy up. set these somewhere else i never know what's going on but i see cards and pokemon so cool i guess emma i just feel like you're just here <laughs> emma I, I got a feeling you watch a lot of reality tv one two three four to the front i need them eggs this is pack number four right here my friends you ready Ooh, psychic energy. This is always good. Especially when it doesn't focus. I've done nothing to you.
Like, what else are you focused on? The fucking canvas? I guess it's kind of good. Camera up. Steelix. Candela. Magikarp. Bidoof. Ape him again. A little bastard and a little Meltan. Bald headed Squirtle. Reverse Hollow. Ipa bomb. Ampa bomb. I really don't know how to fucking say that. And. Ooh. Look at that baby right there. I don't know how to say his name. Conkledur. Conkledur V. I really don't like this Pokemon, to be honest. I've never liked him since I first saw him, but I'll take the V card. I'll take it. Like, you know, I'll take it. It's nothing wild, but it is what it is. Never been a fan of little buddy. Dynamic punch, flip a coin. If it's heads, this attack does 90 more damage. I use one of those. Mm. Scent, my man. W. I guess. Pack five. Bro, I just really want, I really want this Times Square Mewtwo. That's really all I want. Have you seen the circle? No. You do actually watch reality TV? I knew it. One, two, three, four, V start. Spooderman. Ooh, an incubator. Soul Rock. Here we go. Let's get some new ones up in this bitch. The Hello and Radicate. I got about a billion of those. I just keep releasing. Tranquility. Larvitar with his little egg or his little berry. Not too. Oh my God. I pulled two things. Another monkey. Reverse hollow rare candy. Come on, baby. Be something big. Yakum. Ah, you. Mewtwo V. I got both variants of it. We got Mewtwo V. The alt from the Elite Trainer Box and the V-Star. Look at these Mewtwo's. Super Psy Bolt and Transfer Break. You know what would have made this better? If they would have had Shadow Ball, Psy Strike, etc. Like the actual moves from Pokemon Go. It just gave them abilities. Moving energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. Absolute Yoga. Fire. That's fire. That's pure fire. That is pure effing fire, bro. We'll take the rare candy. Ooh, baby, I like you all. Pack six. Halfway, baby. One, two, three, four. Front. Just like that. Stack them. Lack them. Back them. Electric Energy. Big Brother Steelix. War Turtle. Dude, give me Blastoise. Slow Bro getting his fucking ass ate. Ampapom. Slow Bro trying to get his ass ate. Onyx chilling out in the woods. Or in the woods. In the open field. Charmander. Char little Charmander. Oh my fuck. I pulled two cards. There's a Beedoof right there in the back. There's a goddamn reverse holographic Blastoise. We now have a Squirtle, a War Turtle, and a Blastoise. One of my favorite Pokemans. My first starter. Look at him. Big, beautiful Hydro Pump. What's behind Blastoise? What's behind door number two? And it's an Articuno. It's a big bird with some freezing winds. Whew. Your basic water Pokemon attacks, except for Articuno, do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. That's lit. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to six energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Your turn ends. Wow. So you can use your turn to just get energy. That's pretty lit. I actually like that a lot. All right. This right here is pack number V. I. I. This is pack seven. Nobody claimed it. Faith said, F you. I'm not picking it this time. Even though she came out with the, the biggest dub you've everybody so far. One, two, three, four. Pack VII. Pack number seven. The one and only. Leading up with a big yoga fire. Big fire energy right here. Candle. Big Charmeleon. Lure module. Pika P. Squirtle. Got a bunch of starters. 
Except for that fucking thing. Oh, he's getting photobombed too. I love it. I love it so much. Look at Rattata climbing a tree. What's back here? Numel. What's behind Numel? Reverse hollow monkey. And Moltres. Article. Ooh, if we get Zapdos in the next pack. Moltres right in the mother lover. We need Zapdos. We need Zappy Zap right now. Right fucking now. Exactly. Why would you curse at me? Rude. Pack eight. This is what I'm, Zapdos going to be in this pack. Please believe me. One, two, three, four, front. Lock it in, daddy. Lock it in, lock it in. Psychic energy. Here we go. Ooh, and we got spark. He is teaming. Ooh, and we got Blanche, though. Numal. Radicate. Tranquility. Larvatar. Titty. Okay, we got three. We, wow. Wow. What's behind this? And... Dragonite V! Impact number eight. Baby, look at him with his karate. Is this the alternate? This ain't the alternate, is it? No, nah, it doesn't look like one. With his karate pose. He said, bring it up, baby. About the sweet chin music you right in the goddamn neck. Hyper Beam only does 60 damage. And Buster Tail. Discard all energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Fucking what? Disc oh, discard and energy. I did not read that right. I thought it said discard all energy. I was about to be like, I'm about to make every deck with four Dragonite Vs. How many you can have? That's insane. What do you do with the cards after you open them? Can you somehow use them? You can play with them, yeah? I'll just collect them. That is sick. I like that a lot. I thought it said discard all energy. Is that a good? Did I do good, Papa? No. Do better. That's what I want you to do. I want you to do better. Pack nine. One, two, three, four. Front. Pack nine. Fire energy. Yoga flame. Ready? Slow, bro. Luna. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that Lunatone art's sick. I love your stream. Puts a smile on my face. Thank you, Generator. I appreciate you, baby. A little Chansey. A little Bibberal. A little Slowpoke. Bidoof. Magikarp. Apom. Reverse Hollow. And. Ooh, Gyarados. Oh, that Gyarados is sick, bro. He's like in the trenches. He's like in a crick. Joe's watching you on his live. If you're going to set it up, bro, you might as well come through with it. If you're going to set up the joke, don't disappoint the audience. There it is. Joe Mama. Even though you got to really wait for the Joe who, you know? You really got to wait for the proper setup. Look at that, man. That's so sick. Discard the top five cards of your deck for doing 230. I don't know about that one, Chief. Flip a coin if you get tails for each heads. Discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. That's pretty cool. I would never use this card in any situation ever, but I do vibe with it. Ooh, we got three packs left. Three packs. Why do you eat cereal with water? I feel like Corey eats cereal with water. Corey does dip his Oreos in orange juice, which I think is very fucking psychotic, but that's neither here nor there. Because your father never came back with the milk. <laughs> Milk's fucking expensive. That's probably why we drink it. We're eating it with water. It was like eight bucks a gallon. Dark energy for pack number 10. We got slow, bro. Pupitar. Got a Pokestop. That's pretty cool. Squirtle. Bibabable. Aloha and Rattata. Numble. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Low and eradicate. Reverse hollow onyx. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which I desire. 
Fuck! All right, we got Snorlax, though. Look at him. He's fat as fuck, laying down, taking a little nappy nap. This Pokemon's now asleep. As long as this Pokemon's in the active spot, your opponent's active Pokemon can't retreat. I kind of like that, though, honestly. Look at him blocking the path. How much does Snorlax weigh? 1,014 pounds. 6 foot 11. Just a whole big bastard. I'll take it. Bro, I want this fucking Times Square. Mewtwo. Yes, yes he does. Pack 11. One, two, three, four. Sad, you tiny. Here we go, we ready? Electric. Ivysaur. I like that Ivysaur a lot. That may be one of my favorite card arts right there. Ivysaur slept on. Pokestop. I like this pack. Ooh, look at that Unpheasant. I like these packs. I like I like this set. Look at this Eevee sitting on somebody's lap. Saying, what's up, trainer man? Look at Numel. Come on, baby. Give me something good back here. A low and eradicate. Oh my God, I drew two cards. Tranquil. Pikachu, reverse hollow. Come on. Come on. And let's get it. Oh, it's the hollow. It's not fucking hollow. Of course it's hollow. It's the reverse art Slay King V. The reverse art daddy. Heavy impact 2-6 in the reverse art. What the fuck am I saying? The alt art. If you have exactly two, what? Two, four, or six prize card remaining. This card can't attack. Wow. Heavy impact though for 260. For four normal energy? That's not bad. But that's pretty sick. You have to lose cards in order to use him. Yeah, I like I like that a lot. That's wicked. Which probably means we're not going to get nothing in the back, right? We're probably not going to get nothing for this last pack. And that's okay. Yeah, that's the alt art. That's okay. Ooh, baby, I like it raw. Are you ready? This is it. Last pack. Who's it going to be? All I want is Times Square Mewtwo. That's it. Super rare. I'm bending the fuck out of this pack. All right, there we go. It's Mewtwo in Times Square. What more do you want, right? One, two, three, four to the front. That could be it right there. We're not going to know until we flip them over. So let's pack it. An electric energy. Go ahead. And let's try to get some last pack magic and give me some sevens up in the chat, good brother. Just give me give me a little seven, seven, eleven. Give me a little seven. Let me summon this. Let me summon it back. Let's see if we can get another mute, yet another Mewtwo. Or maybe we get a Charizard. You know, a little Zard action. I'm cool with it either way. Electric energy. Chansey. Spark. Spooderman. Monkey. Meltan. Squirtle. Tranquale. Chat man. Reverse hollow. We got one card left behind this. One card left. Let's see if we can do it. You, me, we, they. Let's get it. Ready? Eyes closed. Is it a banger? I'll take it. It's a Venusaur. We didn't... Mm, it's not a shiny Venusaur, so it's okay. We didn't get Charizard, but we did get a Blastoise and a Venusaur. This Venusaur is actually sick. Like, let's be real. Look at that. Solar Beam for 130. Get a little closer on it. Once during your turn, you may flip a coin. If head, switch one of your opponent's Pokemon or one bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. And the new active Pokemon is now asleep and poisoned? Fire. Fire, bro. All right. I'll take it. I do like the art a lot. Uh, I love the smell of new cards. It, it unlocks something in my brain. It, it's like a big serotonin dump every time. Uh, let's see something real quick. 
It just smells like new cards up in this bitch. If I only have one, I'm not going to be able to do it. It may be in my hollow cards. Okay. I'm upset that deck box is broke, to be frank. Yeah, that, that art's really sick for this. I'm salty. All right. Okay. All right. Now, let me check something real quick. I got to hard sleeve these things first. What did we get good? We got some good stuff. Uh, I did. Yeah, I got all of the uh, the starter cards. How many was that? Five. You request a new box? Mm, I wouldn't do that. One, two, three, four, five top loaders. All right, so here's our good cards we got real quick. I mean, we did get this. This just comes with a box, so it's like nothing crazy. But it is the alt art from Mewtwo, which I think is fucking dope. We did get a Mewtwo V-Star. Cockle-dockle. Mewtwo V. Dragonite V and that Slay King alt art. Pretty sick. I mean, to be fair, that's five hits, right? Five hits out of 12 packs, that's almost 50%. That's almost 50% hits. Come on now. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing, brother. Ooh, baby, I like you. Pretty solid, yeah. I mean, that'd be the same as in 38 or 36 packs getting 10 plus, right? Getting like almost 15. Which I think we did on that one box. We've had horrible boxes. We've only got like seven or eight. I think anything over 10 and 36 packs is solid. That's just my opinion. Do, 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 do. That one box was crazy. Everything was a hit. All of them were hits. Okay. Okay, do you guys want to see something super cool? You have three packs to open? Hell yeah. What if... What if I told you all that this right here isn't normal? What would you say? What if I told you That it's not, that it's not normal. What if I told you instead that it was a ditto in disguise, baby? <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> hip, hip. Look at the very bottom of this. It may not focus because of how close it is.
Look at the bottom left-hand corner. You see a little ditto icon right there. This is actually a sticker. I don't know where to put it. So yeah, that's a little ditto. This Pokemon can use the attacks of any basic poke. Oh shit, in your discard pile. Except for Pokemon with rule box, Pokemon V, Pokemon GX that have rule boxes. You still need the necessary energy to use each attack. Fire. Fire. So yeah, I got to, uh, got to figure out where to put my sticker actually. I could put it on my fridge. Or my, my taxes, my tax folder. I'm gonna put it on my tax folder. Not gonna lie, it doesn't stick that well, but a couple days being pinned up against like another folder, it'll be fine. So yeah, hip hip, harshy blows. Spice up a mundane object, I swear. Now, I just have all of these packs and these heavy ass dice. I just remembered you owed me a sub from the last pack opening when you pulled the digital Charizard. <sighs> That's like a fucking drug to me. I love the smell of new cards. I could live in that smell. Somebody just said, you just have to breathe this in all day, every day, twice on Sunday. I'd say, okay. Man, yeah, those are some bangers right there, brother. I do like this box a lot. Is it reversible? Nice little thick boy box. Creepy, don't be weird. Digimon does have some good card art. I legit just sat here and I was like, where the fuck's my keyboard? And I forgot it's it's disconnected. Oh, it's all good, Chief. I had to think for a second. I was like, is he bullshitting or is that real? It's real. Oh, brother. Where is... And I just like give a shout out and appreciation to 13 generator for being like, I love your stream so much. It's my favorite. And it was their first time ever chatting and not being a follower to set up a fucking Joe joke. Also, you know, something great that Pokemon's doing for Halloween. So, you know how everybody most people said or most people 
you know, they, they give out candy. People give out candy on Halloween. Well, Pokemon is giving out, you can buy these bundles called Booster Packs. Little three card packs you can give out for Halloween. Wholesome as fuck. Booster packs. Ah, ah, ah. I wanna I wanna look at this full set now, actually. So here's what it look like. Booster packs. Right? Pretty solid. Let's look at this. Let's let's look at these cards, shall we? I didn't get any of these. I do keep them in the box, yeah. Some of them. I only have a couple out. I have Raichu, uh, a Spartan, and the Lich King. Iron Man and Cap are out of the box. Everybody else is in their box. So, okay. Look, we got Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur. We did not get the Radiant Venusaur. No Executor. Got these two. Got Charmander and Charmeleon. No Charizard. No Radiant Charizard. We did get Moltres. We got these. We got we got these. No Radiant. We got these two. We got those two. We didn't get Lapras. We did get Articuno. No Glossopod. No Pikachu in the hat. No Zapdos. We did get both Mewtwo's. No Sylveon. No Zaktu. No Melmetal. None of the male medals. Okay, that's not an alternate. That was just that's just the way he looks. He's cute as fuck. No V stars. Well, we got they got the Mewtwo V star. I guess that counts for something. We did get Ditto. Hmm. There it is. This is what I wanted right here. This was the card that I wanted. Salty. So here's the alternate. Fire. But we did get Slay King, I guess. Professor's Research. Not the greatest set in the world, but I wanted that Mewtwo, or at least one of the shining Pokemon. Whatever. It is what it is. Took all yours out of the box and said they were they weren't meant to be stored in a box. I don't know if I should be mad or just brush it off. I'd be mad, especially if you were collecting them in the box. You collect them the way that you want to collect them, you know? He's the only one you need. Hey, you better get to it. I couldn't tell you the last time. I need. To, I haven't been on Let's Go Pikachu in a hot minute. Oh. We go check out here. I mean. Okay, guys, hey. What just happened? What's up, Panda, baby? 11 months on an eight-month streak. What's up, Panda? Hope you're doing good, my friends. Hey, I've been grinding Meltons in Pokemon Go. Shit's ugly. Hey, other piece, people must be your collections? Always. Trying to Roblox them. All right, guys, hey, listen. I'm going to raid somebody. Uh, this person has one viewer. I know this person in real life. They're a young kid. They're young, a part of my family. They don't have a webcam, barely talking, playing Apex, but I know that they want to stream. So be kind, be courteous. If anybody's rude in this chat, I will fucking ban you next time you're in here. <laughs> so be kind. Be courteous. It's a little kid playing some Apex, and that's where I'm going to go. Okay? Yeah, Corey. Yeah, Snail, because you're creepy. 
All right, guys. But I'm going to send you all over there. You guys have a beautiful rest of your night. I got to go record some stuff. And I will see you guys next Monday for some Walking Dead. And uh, I hope you all have a great rest of your night. I love you guys bunches. Thanks for watching me open up Pokemon cards. And I will see you very soon. So I want to do this before he leaves. <laughs> so y'all stay cute, all right? All right, I love y'all's face. I'm going to start this up real quick. Hang out for a second. Hey, you have a good one too, Chief. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And we're off.